I like that one. I know. Joe hated it, though, I think because it looks so much like him. <laughs> a big funny smile here. <laughs> he always liked the serious ones we took. But I like this one. His big teeth showing and his crooked nose. <laughs> You know, maybe it's wrong, but I really don't know why you're doing this to yourself. You know, talking about him, looking at pictures. Just remembering him, Eden. Yeah, I know, but it seems like you should forget about it and move on to something else. To what? I don't know. It just seems that when somebody you thought was always going to be there isn't there anymore, that there should be something to fill the gap. Like someone or something, something else. You get it? Hello? Hi. I haven't heard from you in a while. You still barricaded in the house? I think uh, my father's calmed down some. I mean, he's taken away the double guards at night and even lets me out of the house sometimes. Do you think he lets you out long enough to have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Um, I don't know, Nick. Um, I don't know about tonight. What's wrong with tonight? I don't know. I just, uh, feel like staying in tonight. Huh? Eden! Nick, it's Eden. Hi, Kelly would love to have dinner with you tonight. Why don't you pick her up at six? Eden, where's... Hey, uh, what's... <clears throat> I am certainly not too shy. I'm perfectly capable of saying yes you or no. You are more capable of saying no. No, no, no. <clears throat> Hello? I, I just want to say that six is fine with me. And in case Eden is putting words in your mouth or something, I do have those pictures you asked me to develop. And since you did ask, the least you can do is come and look at them. Right? Right. Right. I did ask. So how about six tonight? OK, I'll be ready. Goodbye. Bye. Thing all I'm not doing this matchmaking thing. I'm just saying that you should be able to go out and have a good time if you want without feeling unfaithful to Joe. Eden, that has nothing to do with I it. I think it does. Look at me. I'm sitting around here instead of going to Ted's graduation because I'm not supposed to be in crowds. I wanted to stay. I didn't mind. What right do I have to bring somebody else into that, though? Besides the fact, which you keep ignoring, is that I still love my husband the same way you do. Cruz is not my husband. Yeah, well, he almost was. He should have been. Well, I found out what he was like. We have a different set of values. Let's just not talk about this, all right? Look, Eden, I know you're angry. And I'm angry, too. I mean, Mama doesn't deserve what Cruz is doing to her. But how do we know what we do in his shoes? I know. All right, you know, but don't pretend that it doesn't matter to you. You don't fool me about wanting to get over things and get on with your life. Look, you can mourn, but I can't. Cruz didn't die, or get sick, or go away. He just turned out to be the kind of person I never imagined he could be. And I just want him to know that Eden's gonna be fine, and better than ever. No matter how you really feel? I really don't think that's any of his business anymore. And I don't want you saying anything to him. Okay, I won't. And don't you say anything to Nick or anybody else that I need a man, or that I'm lonely, or whatever you think my problem is. Eden, what I need is Joe, and I can't have him. But I think I have the right to feel sad about that sometimes if I want. Okay? It's a deal. Good. Within reason. Within mm. reason. <laughs>
What do you say, buddy? Yes? Oh, come on. Been a little bit too much amnesia going around, Nick. Come on, go back to your dark room. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I know you? Well, you used to, but then so did a lot of guys. I guess now uh, only my platoon buddies seem to remember. Vietnam? <laughs> What brigade? 101st Airborne, Quezon. Man, I was assigned to you guys for a while. Get in here. <laughs> Whew. Is there anything that gets you? Uh... A tailor. You really don't remember me, do you, Nick? <sighs> Joe, I'm afraid I don't. I'm sorry. But I am really glad you stopped by. You know, sometimes I think we all get to feeling a little misplaced. And that's when I would... I'd give anything to see a familiar face from back there. Someone I don't have to explain anything to, huh? Yeah, me too. Well, maybe we have got our wish. <laughs> Come on in, sit down. Tell me about yourself. Hey, what's to say, man? I feel like I've been in uh, animated suspension, you know what I mean? Been kicking around California, and I'll, uh, I'll take a job, I'll stay there for a while, and then move on. So I was down in L.A., I was talking with Rick Ennis. You remember Rick, right? Rick, I uh, don't think so. Well, anyway, we were talking, and uh, your name came up. He told me that you had won the Pulitzer Prize, is that true? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a few years ago, right. I couldn't believe it, man. It must have been one of the shots that you took when you were traveling with us, huh? Mm-hmm. Listen, uh, you, you still got it around the picture? I mean, I'd love to see what came of it. No, I didn't hang on to it. Huh. Didn't see much reason to. Listen, how does a brand new bottle of sour mashed bourbon sound to you? <laughs> I like music to my mouth. All right. Whew! Long trip. Hey, look, uh, just make sure that uh, you get plenty of ice and that it is nice and cold, and we will uh, talk. <laughs> I remember that first day we took you to kindergarten. We took you into that sunny little classroom. There were tiny little desks, and you sat there like the perfect pupil. I looked at your father, and there were tears in his eyes, and we were so proud of you. Oh. Lakin, are you there? Huh? I can't believe it. I can't believe you're going to college before we know it. You're going to have a family. Now, you have to promise me something. Don't let those years pass too quickly. <laughs> promise me. I, I promise. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm supposed to have dinner with Frank, but I feel like taking a nap. Julia, would you tell him that, please? Tell him I'll call him later. Julia? Uh, yes, I will. Thanks. Yes. I'm going what? upstairs. Okay. I was so right. proud Thank of you. you. <laughs> okay. oh. oh, be careful. No, I'm fine. Stay away. Fine. All right, Lionel. Did you enjoy your afternoon? Oh, I thought it was a lovely ceremony. Mm -hmm. And Augusta, she handled her blindness with great strength, huh? I was there, remember? Oh, that's right. Five rows back. That's right. Uh, and, and Frank, there's something you don't understand. I come to you and arrange the dates. You are not a single entity in this. We work as a team. The lady called me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you should have called me and told me and something else. I don't like you hanging around this house day and night. That isn't part of the deal. Oh, speaking of deal, have we got a plan? What is it? When we get one, I'll let you know. Well, if we knew, you know, You'd I could mess it possibly... up. And there's one other thing. We've got to do something about these clothes. Oh, what's wrong with them? They look very good on you. Not my clothes, dummy. Yours. If Augusta hmm? knew you were dripping in polyester, she wouldn't have anything to do with you. Look, here's a... Uh, at three hundred dollars, go get yourself something in cotton or wool. Lionel, that's very nice of you. Um, can I keep the suit after we do whatever we're up to? Huh. I don't know who else would fit into it. Huh. Now, another thing. When, when you get some change from that? Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll bring it right back to you. Well, listen, Augusta's waiting for me, okay? Uh, Augusta is taking a nap. Oh, okay. Then I'll, uh, I'll see you later tonight, huh? Oh, and, uh, thanks for the suit. Yeah. Mark, why didn't you tell me? I had to call you to find out when you were going to pick me up for the prom and you tell me you have another date? Oh, you just assumed. And well, that's great. Okay, you too. Bye. Sounds like you have a mega problem. That guy is such a jerk. I mean, we break up, he goes out and gets another date and then he doesn't even tell me. I'll take it. No, Dad. No, come that's on, okay. come on. I'm not kidding. 
Hey, listen, uh, we'll sip a little punch, and uh, if you meet somebody you like, I'll slip out the side, Clyde. Okay? Oh, okay. And in so... the meantime, we'll do a little dancing. Hey, I can cut a rug. <laughs> oh. Wanna see? Sure. I won't dance. <laughs> so don't ask me. Hey! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> How about that? Slick, huh? Daddy, you are really? crazy, 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 crazy. Certifiably insane, mm -hmm. as is your mother. Isn't that incredible? We're all crazy except you, huh? You get the highest marks in the class. The first Lockridge ever to excel academically. How about that, huh? The first Lockridge to crack a textbook and, and make it great. We're all very proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. Thanks for coming. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Mm -hmm. You're something. <laughs> Pete, this is dinner. I know. I just can't get this off my mind, you know? I can't imagine what you must be thinking about me. Wait a minute, listen, if it's about whether you know who the father is or isn't, I don't care. can you be interested in a woman you Look, think... I don't think anything. I know what you are, and I love you, and I want to give really you... I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to drive you away. There are just a whole bunch of crazy things right now that I can't explain. Damn, I just wish we'd hear something. So do I. I know if anybody can help us, Jack Lee can. Yes, he's being well cared for. Rest easy on that count. But how about our other guest? But Lee? Uh, keep him alive for the time being. You never know when we might need him. And his other girlfriends. But how long do you think we'll have to wait before the coronation? No one knows. That depends on the old man, of course. Well, keep a careful watch on His Highness. Uh, there'll be plans to be made, uh, transportation to be arranged. Of course, sir. All right, I'll be in touch. Goodbye. How is my world-famous cousin? I suppose you're going to tell me uh, this one is your last. You relax. I've got his face, I've got his money, I even have his women. Look, your ego is not the point. Give me that. Put it out. Look, we maneuvered the child into place, yes, but now we cannot risk a mistake. Now, if we're very smart and we're very cool, and we know how to wait, New Stalin will fall into our hands. Into our waiting hands. So, uh, you must still be in demand, huh? I mean, people know your name, they know what you did. You probably do a lot of talks around town, have your face in the newspaper, right? Nope, that's not for me. If I make it in the news, I want it to be because I pulled a, uh, a cat out of the tree or something. Yeah, they come around. They want to know, but I don't know what it is that they want to hear, that it was, uh, that it was heroic, that it was horrible. Anything I could say just wouldn't sound right, so I tell them I'm retired. <laughs> but you're not, man. You're famous. What is it with you in this famous bit? Open your eyes, look around you. Does this look like the furniture of the rich and famous? I don't think so. <laughs> Hell, man, I wanted all that at one time, yeah. I don't know what happened. I like being nobody. Oh. What, what, you got something on? Yeah, and I'm late. It's just a dinner, but I guess... Yeah, well, look, that's cool. I'll just, uh, I'll find some place to crash. I hey, always do. Hey, 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 you found it. You're welcome to stay here. Yeah, I mean, there's not much in the fridge, but you're welcome to it. And if it's moldy, toss it. <laughs> that's decent, Nick. Thanks. I'll be back early. Good night. Get rid of them. Damn. Then 
I was right about Renfro. Looks like it. Who would have believed a man of his reputation? He just disappeared. Huh. His office in Boston is completely shut down. Even his research associates don't know where he is. Now, I put calls into some of my connections. Oh, I see. Well, and... Uh... And if they don't come up with anything, I would suggest we hire a private detective. No. They find out we're looking for the baby, they might hurt him. I don't know. I don't think it's that kind of an arrangement. They want the baby. Right, Mr. Lee? I mean, there's been no ransom call, has there? What did you find out at the uh, Memorial Hospital in Morgan, L.A.? Find out? Yeah, you see, I was talking to a guy there, and he said that uh, there's somebody special on duty the night the baby was supposedly brought in. Well, I went about as far in Los Angeles as I can without calling in the police and knowing how Amy felt about it. I don't that. want that. I don't want the police brought in. Mr. Lee, L.A.'s a big city. A guy like you, you must have a lot of connections there. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I had another appointment. That's I didn't know right. you two were going to drop by. We'll go. If you have nothing new to tell us, there's no news. Excuse me. Just let me let her in. You got a lot of faith in that guy, and it's not enough. Faith has nothing to do with it. He's the only option we've got. What he says we'll do. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had any... Hi. That's okay. We're just going. Hi. Hi. Amy, I'm sorry to hear what happened to your baby. Yeah. Let us know if you hear anything. Of course I will. Okay. Bye. Bye. Is it terrible yeah. for her? Well, she's quite a girl. Look, when you called, you said you had something urgent to talk to me about, the Gillis case. Mm -hmm. Now, I am fast, but it's going to take some digging to build up a defense that'll stand no, up. No, I know. I'm not here to pressure you. I'm here because I have a shortcut for you. I'm fast, too. What is this? Those are the original employee rosters of all the people who were on the rig the day of the fire. Who else has this? No one. Tracked down all the copies and payroll and personal records and destroyed them. You are thorough, aren't you? Well, I do my job. See, Maggie Gillis may be solely responsible for the death of my brother-in-law, which was Amy's brother, Joe Perkins. She moped and complained, made everyone feel sorry for her, and now she wants to take my father's corporation for a large amount of money for something that was really nobody's fault. I personally don't see any harm in cutting corners when you're in the right. My philosophy, too. Why should nice guys always finish last? Exactly. <laughs> Well, that's another case and another story. What do you mean? It's perfectly clear-cut. My mother didn't murder anyone. It was an accident. We, ha we have a witness. A lunatic. A madman who tried to kill your father. Oh, sorry. There was no one at the desk. Oh, that's okay. Mr. Lee and I have finished our business. Yes, for so now. We really ought to talk some more. Perhaps over dinner or something? Oh, we'll, we'll talk. Um, goodbye. All right. I never did knock on doors. No, you never did. So now it's Eden Capwell, huh? Is there something specific you uh, came to see me about, Julia? Mm-hmm. To spy on you. You see, now I'm working on the Gillis case, the other side. Shh, don't tell anyone. No one is supposed to know, least of all you. Oh, really? I'm supposed to rekindle the old flames and then report back to Mason Capwell on what I've learned about your defense. Smart man. Not so smart. See, what he didn't know is that I come from the Jack Lee School of Economics. And I learned that if you got it, don't flaunt it. Sell it to the highest bidder. I, I take it I'm in the bidding? That's right. And you would, you would report to me about their case? Well, r right now I, I'm working on a percentage. You want me to make you a better offer? Oh, Jack. You are a better offer. At least you used to be. Tell you what, um, here's the key to my hotel room. We should talk about this a little bit more. I have an early, early evening appointment, but I won't be late. Right? I'll keep the bed warm. I'll keep the key warm. <laughs> you know, I like it this way. What way is that? With the roles reversed. Because this time, you need me. All I want from you is to get you in the sack. Bye. Wish is my command. Thanks again, Cousin Jack. Huh? Isn't that pretty? Mm. 
Beethoven's sixth. The pastoral. Pastoral. <clears throat> That's right. The, the image this piece can conjure. Just listen to it, Augusta. What do you hear? Wind in the trees, rustling through the branches, peacefulness. Um, a stream going by. Yes, the, and the approaching thunderstorm. You know, you can almost see the clouds and the horizon. Huge gray and black clouds. Uh, that comes in the second movement, doesn't it? Do, uh, does it? Uh, uh, I thought you all you knew everything about classical music. Uh, actually, I don't. Have a, not much at all. In fact, uh, the only classical music I know is, or ever heard, actually, is when I was on the moon. Uh, we played it in our, inside our helmets for the, the moonwalk. It seems that kind of music lends itself to the partial weightlessness of the, of the moon. I, I bet you're a, a wonderful dancer. Well, I'm told I am. Well, maybe you can show me someday. Well, why not now? Oh, well, I really couldn't, especially to that music. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Hold on, Augusta. Comfortable Come on, all it takes is two good feet. Let me do the rest. <laughs> all right. Okay. Come on. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Oh, you are a good dancer. No, thank you. You're really a, a very exciting man, Frank. No, not really. No, you are. You're very talented. You know, I feel very close to you. And I. Funny thing is, I can't even see you. I don't know what you look like. We can remember you that. Oh? You just touch me. With your hand. Like this, on my face. Hmm? Nice face. Oh, I, I gotta go. Oh, no. What, why? I have to leave. I have to... I gotta make a phone call. Houston. Oh, no. Houston. Now? Yeah, it's a problem. Public relations thing. Oh. I have to do it all the time. I'll be back, okay? All right. Wait for me. Save the last dance for me. Okay, Gus? I knew it was too good to be true. Fooling myself again. Well, I mean, has there ever been anyone that's been special to you? Well, I have boys that are friends, and then and then I have guys that I sleep with. What do you mean? If you mean anything like you and Ted were, no, never. I mean, people just don't do that anymore. Well, what do you mean, do what? Well, um, for instance, have you and Ted ever... Have, have you and anybody ever? Well, there's always tomorrow, right? <laughs> So, are you going to get him to take you to the prom? I never understood that word. It always sounds like something you eat. He said he already has a date. So what? Get busy, girl. You like him, right? I mean, he's rich. He's, he's nice. He's gorgeous. He's got boyfriend written all over him. I mean, he's like this throwback to when men were men and, and women were daffodils. <laughs> <laughs> and we must have psychic powers. So he's right there. Go for it, Lincoln. Christy, no. If you don't, I will. I'll go right over there and tell you you have dreams about him. Oh. Well, you could say hi. You could say, hey, handsome, how about some lip gloss oh, all over God. your neck? <laughs> hi. You know, you really should wear a back brace. Photographs are not going to be of any hey, use to the insurance. Taylor. Just came out to get something to eat and look. Here you are. Uh, Taylor, Kelly Capwell. Kelly, this is Taylor Linton. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, look, why don't I uh, buy you two a drink? 
Parfait, c'est pour moi. Taylor et moi, nous étions... Enfin, j'ai été attaché à sa section pendant quelques temps au Vietnam. Il n'a absolument aucun souvenir de moi, Kelly. Vous mettez un type à un prix littéraire et vous êtes sûr qu'il oubliera ses vieux avis. Et je plaisantais, Nick. Vous avez eu un prix Taylor, Kelly et moi, nous allions avoir une... Oh, vous ne la saviez pas Oui, Nick a été appelé au Vietnam au moment où il connaissait la gloire et, et il a tout laissé tomber. Maintenant, les seules photos qu'on trouve chez lui, ce sont des photos d'arbres, de bébés. Vous n'y avez jamais demandé pourquoi Non. Pourquoi Hey, c'est moi qui vous invite. Je suis pour ça, c'est un peu de plaisir. Wait a minute. Un peu de plaisir. Josh Young. C'est une légitimation d'une Yeah. Oui. C'est un reporter. You been playing me for a story? Oh, just making a buck, man. See, I didn't land in the middle of the big time. Yeah, I'm a, I'm doing a story for a rock and roll magazine. It's a Vietnam retrospective. So you're pretending to be a, a vet, huh? Yeah, you're gonna tell me that you had never done anything you were ashamed of, Nick, in order to get some shots that you could sell very easily? I never dishonored the dead. I never played on anybody's sympathies or his family. Or his past. Where the hell were you when we were over there, man? You mean, was I in the fight? Am I a real man, Nick? Is that what you're asking? Well, I might not be to you because I was a CEO. I was a conscientious objector. It seems to me that your conscience has taken a big nosedive since then, pal. Yeah, well, what about you, Mr. Pride? Look, we both did what we had to do, and I didn't want to be in a war that was immoral, that's all. Nick! Let's throw them in the dime, that immoral war! Hey, Nick. Look, you're no better than me, man. Maybe you just hurt a little bit more. Come on, Kelly. Let's get out of here. Good thing you weren't dressed up. Thanks. You, uh, too young to have a drink with a loser? Oh, all my men have black eyes. It's, uh, so 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Josh. Hi, I'm Christy. <laughs> um, but you better make it a Shirley Temple. I keep on misplacing my, my ID, so... Uh-huh. <laughs> Shirley was a cool kid, you know. She had danced all day, never went to school. <laughs> a man is lying to his teeth. A man... A man advises the president. He has a national reputation for integrity. All right, fine, but I'm not sitting around here trusting somebody I don't know to find that kid, okay? Where are you going? Just to do something. Yeah, looks like Christy found a friend. Yeah, she's very friendly. <laughs> yeah, I like that. No, I, I like her. She's, uh... Well, nothing seems to get in the way. You know, sometimes I wish I could like her. Yeah. Me too. I mean, she just kind of says things, you know? I mean, like... You know, you have something to say, and... Well, I mean, like, saying things... Sh um, shouldn't be that hard to say. You know, or, or, uh, or asking somebody something, usually you should just say, you know, What the heck? <laughs> but you don't. Yeah, I know. Well, I just wanted to say hi. Hello. Hi, Ted. How are you? Hi. Listen, Lincoln, um, I'll catch up with you, okay? I just met this writer. I love it. I swear, the brains are fully fried and they talk about nothing. They take you so seriously. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, listen, I really think think that, you know, things worked out for the best with that nerd. I mean, he's a full teen alcoholic. I mean, who wants to go to the prom with that? Just take it easy, okay? I'll see you. You talking about Mark? Yeah, I guess. You're not going to prom with him? Shouldn't have said anything, but Ted, I really have to get going, okay? Wait, 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 Lincoln, wait, sit down. Um, <clears throat> look, I lied. I, uh, I, I don't have a date. What? Yeah, I, I decided a, a long time ago that, um, if I couldn't go to prom with you, I, I wouldn't go with anyone else. Oh, what the heck, Lincoln, um, if, if, you wouldn't be too embarrassed. Maybe, um, maybe you and I could kind of 
I'd love to. <laughs> they can, um... Are you tired, run down, got that achy feeling? Well, why fight it? Go to bed. And take it from me, there's no bed like a Zimmerman's bed. Here we have lovely Martina Belcher, aerobics instructor. Martina, are your muscles sore, fatigued? Uh-huh, I thought so. Why not rest your lovely frame on this queen-size beauty? No, I'm not tired. Yes, that's it. Now, doesn't that feel good? Mm -hmm. Lionel? Oh, Martina, you certainly are limber. Martina? I doubt anyone's ever done that on a Zimmerman's bed before. Look at that, folks. Television. Damn that man, he's haunting me. <gasps> Who's there? <gasps> Who is it? All right, I know you're there. Who is that? <gasps> oh, all right. Freeze! Freeze! This is my mother-in-law's very old gun. And she cleans it twice a week and she was a pioneer woman and so am I! Stop or I'll shoot! All right, I'm gonna call the police. Operator? Operator, could you get me the police, please? I'm alone and there's someone attacking me. Hurry! Please! Stop! Stop or I'll shoot! Sorry. Amy, we're all we've got. Can we uh, stick together on this? I'm not the one that ran out of here in a hop. Where'd you go? I'm telling you, he doesn't trust me. Amy, yes, Wallace, no. So what? So? She listens to him. What if they start asking about me? What if they, what if they start digging around my backyard? But Jack was right. Renfro didn't go back to Boston. And I called the coroner's office in L.A., and they, they found out that Lee had called already, but no information available, only by official request. Now do you believe Jack is telling the truth that he's on our side? There are ways to win people's trust. Yeah, I suppose so. But where were they headed when they left you? I know you think you're not doing enough, but that's not true. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> I'd be lost without you. Don't run out on me again. Chance. Is there an Amy Perkins here? Yes. Thank you. Hello? It was very stupid of you to talk to that lawyer. I know. I'm sorry. I was just very frightened. Please don't hurt the baby. Well, you're making it very difficult. You placed your child in serious danger, not to mention Mr. Lee. Oh, my God, you wouldn't hurt her. Look, just remember, Amy, we're watching. What's wrong? Uh, I want to go. Have the look of a king, my boy. Mm, and soon you will be one. Mm. Sooner than you think. Mm, Where are you? Burglar? Maybe he fainted. Maybe I frightened him. Maybe he had a heart condition. Are you there? Hold it right there. I did it. I defended myself. Who needs Lionel? Oh, the police. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Are you the lady 
put in the call about the intruder? Yes, I am. There was a problem, but I took care of it. Thank you. Oh, well, we caught this guy sneaking out of your house. Uh, he says he's your husband, but there's no identification. Uh, oh, guys, he hey, just fell down. What? You recognize him, ma'am? Don't be silly. I'd know my husband if I saw him. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. a long and happy collaboration. Do you know, Jack, you are so much more, I don't know, more so than before. Is that bad or good? Which is it? It's more so. Wait, 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 wait. What? I have to do one more thing. Just one minute. No. What's, what's, what's the matter now? What is it? Nothing, nothing. That's all you get. That's all? Let, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to let you know what you were missing all these years. That's a dirty trick, Julia. Oh, it didn't get too dirty, did it? Filled. All right, how about a cheeseburger then? Yeah, with a side of uh, onion rings. Um, I don't know, the biggest hamburger you got. <laughs> Deluxe. Why don't you leave room service alone and come over here with me? Uh, watch this, this is so interesting. <laughs> watch this. If you come on, you have been running from me all night long. Um, do you have any of those little pies with the wrappers? Yeah, an apple and a pineapple. And a bunch of diet sodas. Okay, thanks. You, uh, you don't even want to really be here, do you? Of course I don't. I never do anything that I don't want to. Well, how come you won't come over next to me? Hey, I don't mind sex. Sex is great. I'll, um, I'll just get comfortable, okay? I don't blame you, sweetheart. Because I am nothing but a genuine fake, and I'm, I'm really not even worth it. Josh, why did you say you were fake? Josh? <sighs> we have a lot in common, Mr. Ryder. You okay now? Oh, I don't know, Kelly. I shouldn't have done it. I mean, it didn't prove anything. He didn't say anything I haven't heard before. Yeah, but he was wrong to lie to you, Nick. And you felt betrayed. I mean, we all have things that are sacred to us. I never stopped taking pictures. I was there for a year and a half. And nothing I saw was like anything I'd ever seen before. I haven't looked at them in ten years, and now there's anybody else. National magazine cover? I thought it would be an adventure. Can you believe that? I thought that Vietnam would make a man out of me. Well, it, it made something of me, all right. 
After the first week, I wanted to get out of there. Oh, man, so bad. I couldn't. There was something there that I wanted the people back home to see. But I'd get into the dark room. And the prince would float up at me and somehow... Somehow it was never there. They're so... I don't know the words. They're... They're beautiful and shocking at the same time, you know? Hmm. They're frightening. Are one of these the one you uh, won the prize for? Um, hmm. seconds later he was dead there were a bunch of us standing at a checkpoint between two villages and there was fighting up ahead and we knew it and this kid came down the road all by himself I stopped him and I, I, I gave him some candy I gave him candy and I, I posed him there on the road Talk to him. He didn't understand what I was saying except not to move. He got that. And we laughed. And I took the pictures and I walked away. And just then, overhead, I heard this jet. It was, it was one of ours. But it was too low. And I, just before I, I jumped for cover, he laid down a swath of napalm, 30 feet wide. Just before I, I turned and I saw him. Still standing there. I hadn't told him he could move. I never told him. That he could move. 